Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we've got one system from the user Lava Planet today in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in this system. Their system is called the Gyria VH8N system. So without further ado guys, as always, let's get straight into it. So there it is here, already got it downloaded, ready to go. Right, what have we got? Okay. Let's have a quick look down here. Okay, looking like quite a small system, actually. What is this? Right. Uh, star, radius 1.3, sounds a little less in the mass. First of the planets, as we can see here. Very, very dark indeed here. Wow, we. Okay, so... Yeah, an almost blacked-out atmosphere. So a very, very hellish-looking world here. I mean, that is... That doesn't look like a very nice place to live. I mean, that is a... Proper nasty looking world. It does look good, don't get me wrong, but yeah, for a place that you'd want to call home, this definitely ain't the place. Look at that. I mean, look at the state of it. I mean, it looks just foul. <laughs> so there it is. A very, very hot, very, very hellish world. But yeah, good looking hellish world indeed. Okay. Right, so second planet out, we have got this one here. So as we can see here, got a little ring to go of it as well. Quite a hot little rock like Mercury in a way. There it is there. Okay. Next up we have got this one. So we've got a more frozen-like world here. So it's too cold for any sort of liquid water, I guess. Has some of it left, but minus 99 degrees. Pretty cold stuff. Look at his stats there. Zero life likelihood. Yeah, obviously way too cold. Pretty cool, though. Right, next up we have got this one here. So as we can see, another frozen up world. Minus 201 degrees here, so very, very cold. Surprised the water's still on it at this point because you'd think it would look more like this. So yeah, there it is though, but yeah, pretty, pretty frozen up. So there you go. All right, next up we have got this one over here. So as we can see, that is a pretty barren looking world as we can see there. All right. Then we have this one over here. So the first of the gas giants, Choosy94. Look at the rings. Oh, wow. We Okay. Pretty exotic looking rings, as we can see here. Looking very, very nice indeed there, actually. That looks great. So, yeah, looking good. Kind of reminds me of uh, J4, one, or J1407B with the huge rings that one has in real life. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then last, is that it? Okay. Oh, wow, we're going to do another system in this episode. This is way too quick. Yeah, note for anyone sending systems in the future, please send larger systems in this. I mean, look, we've, we've that's it. I mean, it's taken us three minutes. That, that is, it looks like they've just placed a bunch of random objects after the first one. So, yeah, please send larger systems, guys. I mean, that, that literally is it for this system. So, there we go. That That is it. Um, okay, that was, yeah, how long would that take? Three minutes. Three minutes, 30 seconds to get through that. That is way too quick, guys. Yeah, please do not send systems like this in the future because, I mean, it's too quick and we didn't really cover anything. So, there we are. That does it for this system, though. So, a massive thank you to the user Lava Planet for sending this in. But anyways, moving on, I actually need to switch to update 24 um, for this next system as this was requested for me to use update 24, guys. So, I'll be back with you once I am in update 24. Okay, everyone. So... We have returned to update 24 of Universe Sandbox. So it's been a long time since we've used this. Update 24.1. All the way back in 2020, this update was uh, still rocking by the looks of it. So it's been a long time since we've been here. I mean, you can see the interface all looking different. I mean, oh, remember this menu. Oh, so that's obviously a whole lot different. Uh, but yeah, what we need to do is workshop, uh, subscribe. Let's see what we've got. It should be in here. All right, where is it? Okay, so the system we are looking for is called the uh Al Alphanus system. So where, where oh uh A L where are we? There it is. Cool. Right. That is what we're looking for here. Right oh okay. Looking good. Cool. Right. Welcome to the uh, Alphanus system. A system composed of twelve objects, thirty including the star itself, two hattle planets, a tropical and a cold earth, and two asteroid belts formed from many collisions of the moon-sized bodies. 
Okay, so there's the start, looking good. So, uh, object A, a very small red dwarf star nearing the end of its life, aged about 2 trillion years, wow. And with an extremely low mass of 78.5 Jupiter's making it just barely count as a star. Okay, object B, the closest planet to the star which orbits in a retrograde orbit around the star. Right, okay. So there it is there. Looking good. Then we have object C, the second planet out. Nothing too interesting here. Alrighty. Right, object D. We can see the Hattle zone isn't very large in here. Surprise as well, because it is a red dwarf. Okay, so a warm, tropical, Earth-like planet that has multicellular life. Um, slightly smaller than Earth, it is not tidally locked due to a collision between it and another planet about 1 billion years ago. Alrighty. Uh, let's turn off the zone as well. There we are. Oh, I remember having to open this up to get all of these. That's it's been a long time. Right, next up we've got Object E. A dark, desolate world that was once the moon of uh, Alphanus D before tidal forces pulled it away. Alrighty. Pretty cool. We can already see it starting to get darker and dimmer out here. Then we have the first asteroid belt here. Then we have Object F here. So pretty, uh, pretty high ocean levels on here as well. Looking good. Okay. So, a cold earth with an exotic green atmosphere and plant life. Cool. Right, next up we've got uh, Object G. So that is over here. A large Mars-like planet with a light brown atmosphere and rust-coloured surface. So, yeah, so that's similar to like a Marsy like Yeah, definitely a Marsy like world there. Right, okay. Next up we've got another asteroid belt here. It's getting very dark and dim. Look, I mean, as soon as you zoom out, you can't even see the star no more. Look at that. All right. So, object G. So, we're now taking a big jump into the dark depths over here. So, object H. Still receiving a bit of light, as we can see here. Right. So, a small Neptune-like ice giant with sparse rings and two moons. So, there's the moons. It's obviously quite minor objects there, but there's the larger one. Okay. Looking good. So small asteroid moon and then small moon of exotic pink colours. Alright, next up we've got object I. So we're over here. And yeah, as we can see, visibility of the star is getting very distant now. Still getting some light though. Uh, a large moon-sized body with pink scorches in a thin atmosphere. Alright. Then we have object J. Over here. A s another small ice giant in the outer reaches of the system. Extremely dim, thought to be caused by K's wild orbit. So let's actually just look at the orbits quickly as well. So, yeah. You can start to see uh, the orbits are distorted. Uh, we need to go to studio so we can actually see it. So there it is, so a green gas giant. Okay. But yeah, I'll see very... No, not receiving literally any light hardly at all. So, pretty... Uh, Pretty crazy stuff. And lastly, Object K, a small dwarf planet tilted on its side with a rusty reg and pink rock scattered on the surface. as one small asteroid moon. There you go. And this one is still receiving light somehow, even though it's further out. I don't know how it's doing that, but okay. And then uh, Object K over here as well. Cool. So that does it for this system. So yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this little system. So created by SolarWalk33 or their Discord name. Uh, Eco uh, Marina in Discord. So, massive thank you to them again for sending this in. And yeah, nice little uh, red dwarf system. I quite like little red dwarf systems at the end of the universe. We've had a few like this before. Uh, well, you can see there's no stars in the background. So, we are in the distant future here. Not many stars left. And it's all just little red dwarfs and stuff. So, if we just turn all this off, look, the star. If we just look from this planet's perspective, where is the star? You can barely see it, but it is that direction there. I mean, it probably let's turn the asteroid belts off. There you go, so you can actually see it. But yeah, that that's it. That's all you get in the night sky is that. So yeah, very very distant, very very lonely out here. And there's no other objects in sight out of this system. So pretty pretty dark, pretty pretty dark future as we can see. So yeah, not much. Uh, going on here at all but yeah there we are guys so with that all said and done that does it for today's episode of checking out your guys's solar systems and just to note as well this is the last these were the last two systems on my to-do list so as soon uh, with this video being completed that means that after i finish this video so basically in a few minutes time i will be reopening the chat 
where you can upload your systems. So you probably won't see, the chat would have been open for ages by the time you see this video. But yeah, we're finally at the end. So we can finally get some fresh new systems in, in the latest version of Universe Sandbox. So pretty good stuff. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video. And also make sure to subscribe. Helps on journey to 25,000 subscribers. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.